Hey everybody, TigerTrot23 here. I had a pretty good weekend this week and uh, stopped at a few yard sales and also had a chance to go to the flea market, so uh, here are some of the cool things that I found. First of all, at a yard sale I was going through some 78s, which uh, I usually don't find too many good ones these days. They're either cracked or easy listening pop foxtrot stuff, but I found a very cool thing uh, this weekend at a yard sale. It's called an acetate. It looks like this, and uh, it's kind of a form of test pressing. It's a one-off thing, and uh, the original artists who recorded these would press them uh, after a day in the studio and take them home to listen to the mix or the take that they did and hear how it went. So they were only meant to be played a few times and as a result uh, they often are very fragile and don't sound very good so many years later. Uh, this one is by a group called The Bachelors and I did some research and found a number of um, groups with that same name and could not identify which of those groups that this one belonged to. Uh, this disc was kind of in a doo-wop style with a trio of singers accompanied by a jazz guitar and it had pretty cool swinging uh, feel to it but it didn't sound like any of the other groups uh, one of them that I found uh, on Discogs was an Irish vocal trio along with um, um, doo-wop groups from America uh, this acetate was uh, pressed in a studio in Detroit and none of the groups that I found online were even from Detroit so as far as we can tell, this is a mystery band who never had an official release. This could be the only recording they made. Um, this uh, first song is called The Jeep, and uh, the other side, it's called uh, All Through This Night. Um, I uh, listened to it, and it played pretty well. Uh, it does have some dust and a little bit of scratches, but... Once I clean it up, I think I might make a recording of it to archive and put away the disc uh, to keep it safe. They're called acetates because of the uh, material that they're made from. This one's a 10-inch uh, disc that plays at 78 RPM, and um, instead of being made from vinyl or uh, the uh, shellac that most 78s or records are made from, acetates are made from a... Uh, thin metal disc, usually aluminum I think, and um, they're covered in a thin lacquer, uh, sometimes black or blue or red. This one's a little bit green. Um, and you can always tell it's an acetate because it kind of has a uh, pretty distinct uh, smell to it from the chemicals that the lacquer is made from and they usually feel pretty cold too because the metal on the inside is a conductor. So anyway, uh, since this is a mystery group and the music wasn't particularly interesting, this is more of interest to just uh, collectors of one-off, test-pressing sort of things, which I am, and I find it very interesting too. Uh, however, certain acetates of famous groups like the Beatles, Pink Floyd, or the Velvet Underground have sold for tens of, maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars because of their historical value and perhaps because a lot of them are different takes or even songs that have never been released. So anyway, I continued on to another sale where I found this one. Uh, this is uh, one of Miles Davis's uh, classics uh, from the 60s called Sketches of Spain. It's from 1960. Uh, this is the original stereo pressing and uh, it was in a series of albums that he did with uh, this uh, arranger and conductor, Gil Evans. And uh, most people today call it third stream jazz. It's a mix of uh, orchestral music with a jazz uh, soloist on top. And uh, Miles Davis plays the flugelhorn mostly on this and does some Spanish folk songs and classical versions that he improvises on top of. Um, it's a pretty cool album and uh, not my favorite of his because there's not too much group improvisation, but um, it's the original Columbia pressing, which always usually come with these uh, pretty unique um, Columbia inner sleeves. And um, you can tell by the label, 
It's um, the deep groove six eye pressing, which refers to these uh, little symbols here. And it's the original stereo copy. Um, it's in almost perfect condition. And uh, I would say it's probably worth uh, at least 20 or $30 like this, maybe more. Um, then I headed to the flea market where I came across this album by a group called Hawkwind. They're a uh, 70s uh, UK psychedelic prog rock band, also known as Space Rock. I think this is their second or third album. It's on the United Artists label and it's a pretty cool um, shiny foil cover. The album is called Do Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do, which is a play on words. and. They do some cool jams on this one, and uh, it's from 1972. And I also found this soundtrack by Jerry Goldsmith. It's called The Blue Max, and it's on the mainstream label, uh, which had some jazz and pop releases. Uh, this one's from 1966, and in the same year, that label also released uh, Big Brother and the Holding Company debut album, and some other interesting psychedelic stuff too. Uh, anyway, this one is a, uh, the film is a war drama and it uses uh, a lot of Jerry Goldsmith's uh, um, trademarks, uh, large string and some uh, dramatic buildups, kind of reminiscent of some of the 20th century uh, classical composers. Um, Jerry Goldsmith is also known for some of his uh, other soundtracks to horror movies and sci-fi movies like Alien uh, from 1979 and The Omen from 1976 and also uh, Planet of the Apes from 68. Uh, he also did a pretty cool soundtrack in the 60s. Uh, it was a biography dramatization about uh, uh, the psychologist Freud and some of that music was used without his permission in the Alien soundtrack as well. I also found this um, Steppenwolf live album and it's a pretty cool pressing. Uh, it's a double album on the uh, Taiwanese label called First Records. Um, and these are kind of in debate whether or not they're technically uh, legal releases. They were pressed uh, in the thousands and supposedly sold to uh, um, American uh, soldiers who were stationed in Taiwan at the time in the late 60s and throughout the 70s. And uh, usually the sound quality isn't good, but often the album covers are pretty cool and uh, sometimes they're on a cool colored vinyl too. And speaking of colored vinyl, this last thing that I found is one of the coolest colored vinyl discs I've ever found. It's a compilation on Polydor called Potent or Potent and um, this is a uh, German pressing. I think it was released in Germany only. It has a bunch of cool uh, artists on it, some psych, prog, and blues stuff. Um, Ginger Baker's Air Force, Armageddon, um, and also this pretty cool album that I have uh, Sabikas and Joe Beck Rock Encounter where a uh, famous flamenco guitar player plays with the famous jazz rock guitar player with some cool fuzz guitar and special effects. But the coolest thing about this album is the disc. It's one of the most amazing um, colored vinyl releases that I've found. It's pretty cool splatter marble vinyl with uh, green and black uh, um, splotches and it sounds pretty good too. A lot of German pressings have very good audio quality and this one is no exception. And there's also a um, pretty cool song by The Who from their Live at Leeds album as well. So anyway, that's what I found this weekend. Uh, I spent pretty much just a dollar on each of these things and uh, I would estimate the value of these at uh, conservatively at least uh, 50 or $60, so pretty good weekend. Let me know if you have any questions, and you can post a comment and subscribe if you're interested to see what I find next week. Thanks for watching.